Hey, my name is Scott Griffin. I'm the owner of uh, Griffin Glass Tools and a production glass company, Griffin Glass. I've been making glass for 20 years. Glass blowing is what drew me into making tools and equipment. So today I'm here to show you what my compressed air foot pedal can do and the benefits of the GTT torch and the compressed air setting on it. So this foot pedal is essentially an add-on that can be put onto any of our rocket foot pedals that we've ever made. And we have a compressed air pedal for both the three-stage torches, such as a Delta Mag, and we have a two-pedal mod that goes on any kind of uh, two-stage torch, like the Mirage or the Delta or the Phantom. That's our standard rocket foot pedal. There's a bracket that holds this compressed air pedal add-on. So the compressed air connects simply to the left side of the pedal. There's a million different flame settings that you can achieve with this setup, and that's what we'll be going through with a number of different temperamental glass types. Really try to capture the benefits of being able to turn the compressed air on and off quickly with your foot. So compressed air off, compressed air on, any orientation of flame setting is fine. You can go right back to the same compressed air setting that you had. And now I'll go to the outside fire and show first a normal, neutral outside flame. The compressed air is still on on the inside fire. I'll turn the compressed air on on the outside. And now I can do anything that I choose from here. I could turn the compressed air off on just the center fire. I could turn the compressed air off on the outside fire and then turn the outside fire off. I could turn the outside fire on and both compressed air settings on, so that's inside and outside flame. So again, here's a neutral flame, outside fire on, neutral flame, inside fire compressed air, outside fire compressed air. What I'm gonna do for this first demo is start with lemon drop. I'm gonna make a fairly decent sized gather with the lemon drop. So we have fairly long yellow candles. We turn the compressed air on. It looks like a very driven, strong flame, but it has that cooling effect from the compressed air. And this is the step where the color tends to build up some surface haze more than any other part of the process. We have a really decent gather. It's completely free of fizz or any boiling at this point. Flatten the color. This is another point where you would really be able to see the fizz. It would be right in the center, also around the edges. The compressed air has just kept it perfect and clean at this point. I'm gonna set it on the top of a piece of 12-7 tubing, and I'm gonna blow into the lemon drop gather and turn it into this bubble. I've got a couple of different samples here of Illuminati, Tangy, and Lemon Drop. Worked with compressed air on the left and worked with a neutral setting on the right. The Illuminati is a great example. We have this bubbling and fizzing that everyone knows you can avoid it if you're really, really patient. The benefits of the compressed air are pretty clear in this example. This is the first step to um, a fade type tube. So this is a fade from Illuminati to Tangy to Lemon Drop back to Illuminati. So that'll be the second part of the demo. 